Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week on the show, your favorite boy band drops by the studio. It is a panel with the one and only For You. Now, these four boys have dominated America with their past three albums. Their star is unstoppable right now. So get your popcorn, get your J14 magazine out, and let's listen in. <laughs> right, guys. Wow. What is up, my guys? It's great to see everybody. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited Should we're we here like... together being able to talk about it, what we do. It's so fun. Should it's we... so great. Um, yeah. Hey, production, we don't need this chair. Oh, I mean, we could need it. We could need we it. We could he, need he it. He could yeah, stop but by. Like, uh, yeah, maybe he could stop by. You think he might stop he by? He might stop by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I sent him a text, right, uh, yeah. like 10 minutes ago, and I said, hey, buddy, you coming? Um, he, he read it. Okay. Uh, so I think he's right. just processing that information, and then we'll see uh, if he comes by. Yeah, Do you I want know. me to text his new number? He has, he a, has new a new number. number? Oh, you guys don't. Do you guys not have it? Or yeah, no, he has don't. a new we number a with new number. Uh, an area code of uh, of uh, Los Angeles. So, oh, I, you know. Oh, okay. It's okay. We cannot. Yeah. We do. I think he might be able yeah, to I didn't, stop I didn't by. Know I think. That. Yeah. But I did yes. see on his Instagram story that he was indeed shooting the movie today. Oh, the movie. Yeah. So I don't the know movie. If he'll come. Yeah. Yeah. But basically, yeah. it takes place so much at night, so he might be shooting later in the day. Yeah. yeah I bet he. I think he's just processing the information. I'm. Just, I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's already on the way and he's yeah. just like pranking us yeah so exactly. i guess we'll just leave the chair production it's okay we'll start the interview it's okay it's okay because yeah. cody cody's coming hey, cody's yeah coming. Cody's i coming. i have faith in my boy my boy would never let me down absolutely cody's coming. no of course we yeah. love cody and you two are you two are the closest but of course we we're all close because we've been yeah. hey guys we're for you yeah for, for, you. You. for you let's do it for you for you for you for you Imagine and he would Cody, yeah. Do, yeah. The third. Oh, Cody yeah. Jazz comes in with the top because he has the biggest voice in the top range. Yeah. Yes. Um, and believe it or not, we are doing our press tour for our newest album. Um, the album is Break My Heart, Think About It First. Um, Break My Heart, Think About It First. We're super excited. We've been working with uh, lots of producers. We've got uh, Jack Antonoff, DJ mm -hmm. Khaled. Yeah. Uh, we've yeah. got everybody working on this thing. And awesome. it's going to be super exciting. And um, uh, you may hear uh, a familiar voice. Uh, you may hear that. You may hear the familiar voice in all of us. Yeah. yeah. You would probably hear four familiar voices because all voices of ours are on the record. <laughs> Yeah, all, exactly. All four, even exactly. Cody Jazz is going to be on the record as well. Yeah, just yeah. because he's off right now doesn't mean he wasn't on the record because we uh, re recorded that a year ago. And so, yeah, exactly. so we recorded Can't the album. That. Yeah, it's just like um, it's just like Demois said. Um, we recorded the album. And that's the Instagram account, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, you, know we, you know you know what he's yeah. called. You know Dumois. Don't you know pretend Dumois. like you don't it's know what like Dumois that is. that gossip account reported. Yeah. We did um, lay down an album. We laid it down for like a couple months. And then um, when it was being mastered, um, our boy Cody got a huge offer to be the lead of a Wes Anderson movie. And we're so excited for him. For we're him. so excited. I'm so happy we're for so him. happy for him. It's happy for him and happy for us because it's going to help us as well. Yeah. 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 And, the, the yeah. Like, the label, and it'll trickle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly. going to help. Yeah, yeah the label sure. um, told us that like this press tour was like, I guess people don't really realize that when you're laying down an album, the label is also creating the press tour for the release and the shows and tour. Um, so those days, are finite and they go straight into the yeah. box so we yeah. could so we are doing the tour and everything us three we are and, yeah. and we don't need to keep talking about cody like cody's no, no. not even here you no, know what i mean dude he's not like it's like not at all for you is still like really happening and popping stuff like all this stuff that's coming your way is from us like it's going to be really awesome and we are a majority stakeholder in for you like last time i checked three was the majority of four right <laughs> exactly yeah, right we're 75 percent yeah. of the group i think we can hold it on our own i think we have plenty to talk that's about. so totally. awesome and honestly heartbreak uh break uh, heartbreak think about it before you do it yeah is the album yeah um 
that is such a special story to all of us and we've just been wanting to get this record out in the world so we're yeah, just so I think excited. this album think about my heartbreak before when you do break it break my heart think about it before it. you do it break my heart yes. yeah exactly yeah. I think it's I like some of the best my, stuff we've yeah. done musically I named it in my language and then we translated it it sounds so good I will say from. it sounds much it makes much more sense in your accent yeah but who you gonna do that are you gonna do it or who you gonna see that's it that's it yeah. Gustav is like this is his is i will say like this has been such a good display like you are like an incredible vocalist but this has been such a creative like a platform for you this album thank you so yeah. much i do not know what happened but i've gotten so much more input this album than in the past it's been awesome to let my voice fly um let's go around and introduce i mean yeah. all of the screaming girls probably know our names and yeah. are screaming them already <laughs> yeah but yeah. i will go first my name is gustav i'm a member of for you and of course you know me as as the American one, um, I am, of course, uh, the classic guy. I uh, transferred to America when I was in high school and I became in love with America. I'm the symbol of uh, our country that we love each other so much. And that's who I am. So it's really, really fun and really cool. And I'm happy, happy to be involved. Right now, I'm, uh, my managers are putting me in what they're calling me the Red Dirt Roads phase. So I'm kind of the country guy right now. They made me buy a house uh, right outside of Dallas, Texas, and I'm just loving your life, eating the barbecued and just having the best time. Yeah, you're really like it's daily posts with the ribs and the chicken for you. I'm it's posting about eating the ribs every single day, dude. I love eating the ribs. I love eating the briskets, and I love eating the bread made of corn. It's you the saw. best. There, where are you originally from, for the people? I am originally from Copenhagen, Denmark. Yes, which exactly. is not Copenhagen. It's Copenhagen. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's man. It's inland. It's inland Denmark. Not inland. by the coast. It's not by the coast. Uh, well, hey, guys. I'm Benny, and I am... Uh, b benny and the jet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. one jet. One jet. Well, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working towards it. Um, I was... Uh, a lot of you may know me oh, from... Oh, the plane. Maybe that's Cody's, Cody's plane. Oh, wait. Maybe he's... Do you think he do you think a plane he here? Yeah, wait, let me see. Let me check his location. I can also check the flight Benny, tracker. I still have his location. Dude. I still have his location. Wait, dude, wait, wait, let me see. Dude, you don't need to do that now. Let me see. No, 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 because I we Let's both have each you... other's location and it's like it's really he um has yours. It's really it's really good. Uh, uh oh, it turned it off. Oh it looks like he turned it off. Looks like he turned the location off. Turned it no, off. No, I think my phone's just glitching. I think my phone's just glitching. It my said, internet it has said been Cody super weird off. ever since the storm. My internet's been super weird. No worries, and so no worries, I don't Benny. think, I don't even trust, I don't even know how you guys texted me. That was so weird. I think he turned it off. I don't think that happened, man. I don't <laughs> think my boy would do that He's to so me. So European and so blunt. I don't think he would do that to me. So anyway, uh, my American. name is Benny, uh, kind of like Benny and the Jets, but I um, was a child actor, and you might know me from uh, uh, Porky's Cottage Cheese, those commercials. What do you do when you're feeling dorky? Slub on down to a pile of tor uh, Porky. Slub on cheese. down, dude. Slub on down to a pile of Porky. <laughs> Slub on down do a pile of porky and those commercials ran for about uh, 10 15 years there was a uh, christmas one that went pretty uh that goes viral each year because it sort of looks like me um and this other girl's playing my sister it sort of looks like we have like something going on um and so i love that commercial dude yeah because yeah. you come home from the trip to africa and then all of a sudden there you're like you guys literally kiss on the screen yeah, we do. We do kiss on the screen, but in the in, when we were shooting, it didn't feel that way. Like it didn't feel that way. It didn't feel like you were kissing him. No, it felt like we were acting. It felt like <laughs> it was crazy. like a scene. And yeah, um, dude. but it's so, a part yeah. of the band's history, though, that you and Cody grew up together. Right? We grew up together. We grew up together, and uh, so we were singing together a lot of time for school talent shows and stuff. And then uh, Simon Cowell actually came to uh, our student talent show in middle school. Uh, 
uh, because he was in a really low point in his life and was looking for something to do. And so he found us and we're so grateful that he did. And then he sort of brought us together and then, yeah. uh, you know, well, well, the rest is history kind of like you yeah. guys got added to the mix. And so, yeah, that's kind of my thing. I'm sort of the brains of the group. I'm yeah, sort of dude. the coo- like, I'm sort of the kooky. Yeah. You're the I'm, big brainy nerdy one. Dude. I'm the big brainy nerdy one. And I play the piano and not a lot of our songs feature piano, but the ones that do, I play it. Yeah. Ah, that's awesome. Dude. Yeah. Well, it's so bright in here when you take the, the, the sunglasses off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff, yeah. Yeah, That's it does. Crazy. It is. I like to wear the sunglasses to watch the big American sunsets. That's awesome. Big dude. American sunsets. Yeah. I've never heard that phrase before. Big American but big I guess American yeah. sunsets. Yeah. I guess big American sunsets. I guess they are big. I never thought them being big. I've always thought oh, they were yeah. beautiful, but not big. Oh, okay, Coach. Big. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'm so used to him going I after guess, you. Yeah, it's normally like I there's, tee him up. We there's get the room warmed there. up and then there's we go to no him. One, whoa, there's nobody weird. there. We don't need to go to them. Yeah. Yeah. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Yeah, anyway, whoa, weird to go after you. Okay, what's up, guys? I'm Fame Rogers, F A M E. Um, Super excited to be here. Um, I am, you'd say, maybe uh, the biggest of the dancers of our group. I do. I in our early days, I used to choreograph a lot of our stuff. Yeah. Um, a lot of our step touches and those um, combinations. Um, I've been a singer all my life. I grew up singing in church. Um, I love these guys. I met Cody and Benny. Yeah. Um, I met you guys. I, I want to say it was when Simon Cowell was like connecting people and. Simon Cowell had met me actually he was still down and he wasn't feeling that well and he was just like yeah going to things it was yeah. like after he did that I yeah and he actual- wasn't feeling well yeah. like and it, like he was he was sad but he was also like ill he wasn't feeling well yeah like yeah. emotionally and like physically yeah, yeah a lot of not a lot of people know that uh band for you was formed during simon cowell's sick phase yeah and that's like it's such an important part of our story yeah. because absolutely he happened to be at a bowling alley that i happened to be singing the national anthem at and it was for a bowling competition. Yeah, to open the bowling competition yeah it was yeah. to open a bowling competition and i was just like I was 14 and I was just like singing, dude. I was just freaking singing. And he was like, I have two brothers. I want to introduce you to two best friend brothers. Yeah. And then I met them and then he brought on Gustav and it's just been absolutely just, it's been a whirlwind since the four of us. And I've been started. floored by you, dude, ever since, I mean, ever since we saw that footage of you singing the national anthem at the bowling alley. And the funny thing about singing the national anthem at the bowling alley is that they force you to change all the words to bowling related. Yeah, people don't know that. Um, I do think we have a clip of the footage uh, of uh, you singing the song. Uh, yeah, let's. Oh my god, this is a this video went viral a couple years ago after our second album, and I was like, "Ew, dude." <laughs> let's go ahead and play the clip. Welcome to the seventy fifth annual Greenfield Bowling Tournament, and now to pay homage to our fallen brothers and sisters in the American Army Service, please give it up for Little Rogers. Oh, say can you bowl for the bowling we roll? We're so bowling we bowl. Yeah, we bowl the pins we bowl. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. And, and it's, what's interesting about the song is that you know, they say you got to change all the words to, to be about bowling. And you mostly just changed it to add the word bowl. I was 14. Yeah. 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 Why don't they do that for you, dude? We still have people writing our songs now. They actually, like the bowling association, they should provide standardized language for that. Because I've seen other clips of other kids do it. Some kids go really hard on the spare angle. They yeah. think the spare is really It's important. crazy. I think we have another clip, clip of just a random guy doing it. <laughs> okay. Well, right. That's so crazy because, yeah, other kids, <laughs> other kids are led astray. Play that clip. Welcome to the 35th annual Springfield Bowlathon. Here to <laughs> sing the bowling national anthem is Justice Jane. Oh, who say can you split? Split the pins in two parts. Some were splits and some were spares. Wait, that's not the clip. There's another one. There's oh, another wait, one. No. There's there's another, that's kid. not the one that I was thinking of. There's another of. kid. There's, there's another, another kid. kid. Okay. Another wait, this is my favorite one. Okay, yeah, I'll I love that this up. kid. Please welcome. 
before this national bowling <laughs> championship in Chatsworth, uh, uh, California, please welcome <laughs> Booty Die. Bo say, can you pins by the holes of the wax? Oh, so good are we bow. Ooh, good and the pins in the cradle with the silver bowl, and we never see them die. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my ringtone. I'm sorry. <laughs> my ringtone has been that's playing. It. I'm so sorry, guys. My ringtone no, okay. was playing. I, I gotta turn say, that off. I know we're here to plug the album, but like, I just want to say, like, on a separate note, if the bowling association is going to go so far to make laws for their national anthem, you could at least give us the anthem and write the lyrics. Those you gotta give us. You cannot rely on the children to write parody songs. You just can't. I know we're here to talk about our favorite band, <laughs> our, our, our boy band for you. But the thing is, the man who usually talks about all this stuff is Cody. And this is usually what we're talking about on the bus. We're sort of showing each other YouTube videos until he it's shows us. up. We love it. And honestly, it, he, he may call in. He may show up. We don't know. But like he usually... like. He's the songwriter, right? Like, like Betty plays the piano, like when we're learning the music and stuff. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I mean, Gustav is the sex appeal. Oh, in the sex appeal, and I also played the dulcimer when it's important for yeah, us to on use. That one track we did, and then, um, yeah, and then I am doing the choreography. But besides that, like, he is going to talk about why we wrote those songs or why he wrote those. Songs. Well, I think we can. I mean, I feel like we've gleaned a lot from what he said, so I think we can give a little more context about what this album is about. Like, totally, dude. This is the album. It's called "Breakups Never Are the Heart of, of the Hardest Thing to Do." Uh, if yeah, you think about it. That sounds something. like if that. If you think about it, dude. And this song is all about all the breakups that have been happening in our lives in different ways. And then we sing about it in a way that the kids can also relate to because this is, you know, song for adults, but also for kids because it's fun to be playing at parks and stuff. So that was really exciting. And I would like to play maybe one of our songs. It's crazy, though. You can totally tell that some of us are media trained and some of us aren't. Yeah, that's what's so interesting. All of it, dude. That's what's so interesting. And some I'm of us are trying to be a little more Southern now, y'all. <laughs> and I keep asking for media training. I keep asking for media training or at least media resistant deodorant because I'm sweating so much and they won't, like, fix it. And I feel like there's budget in the money to, like, give yeah, me some sort of deodorant that's stronger than what's happening now. Um, I know that in, in Copenhagen, they are working in the laboratory about different types of media resistant deodorant. Yeah, yeah. I got to get on your shit, man. I yeah. got to get on your shit. Okay, yeah. so this first track, uh, let's go through yeah. uh, Let's go through track by track. So, yeah. um, Bopping in the Rain to a Broken Heart. Uh, Bopping in the Rain to a Broken Heart. This one was definitely spearheaded by Cody. Uh, this was based this on a relationship him. that meant a lot to Cody about like, like love and loss and i think from what i remember they met at the beach him and that girl yeah 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 i think it was a beach oh, i think it was a beach because he got all wet <laughs> so it could be either be bumping in the rain well, yeah, the, the music video, heart. yeah because he was all yeah wet he was all video. wet in the video they had him all wet on the abs and stuff like but wait choice? where does the rain come in but, but well, let's play the track Bumping in the rain to a broken heart. Bumping in the rain today. It's Bump raining in the beach and it's raining in my heart. That's what all the people say. Bumping in the rain to a broken heart. Can you ask me where did I go? I ask you why you tell me you don't know. All we know is it better not be bopping in the rain. Because I'm bumping in the rain. Bop, 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 bop. Because I'm bumping in the pain. Bop, 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 bop. Because I'll never know these facts. Bop, 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 bop. Because I am bumping in the rain. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. Single style. Usually Cody only plays the first verse and the chorus. 
Yeah, yeah. He, he was his in. vocals and, were really coming in. But actually, if you listen really close to me, single style is my part. <laughs> yeah, and your part is mixed way louder than the rest of it, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. It's and- crazy because I actually called him to see if he was mixed at all. Yeah. <laughs> I was curious. It's crazy. I was very curious about that because it's so much louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, for dude. sure. It's yeah. just yeah. Been like that that first track, I remember Cody was like, we should open with that track. And it was like, oh, this is so exciting that that like finding the first track on the album is all it's like it's like the first thing you put on when you're like finding your outfit in the morning. Like mm-hmm. if it's like, do you start with skinny jeans or do you start with your love or your All Saints shirt or like do you start like what is the beginning of the album? Well, right? I want to give a special shout out to the female vocalist on that album, Selena Gomez. If you hear the girl's voice in the beginning of that yeah, song, yeah, yeah, she was so good on that song and she got to do it because. Cody called her and she owed him a big favor for something he did for her in the past. Yeah, yeah, and he won't really elaborate on that and no. he can't and we're really close with him like he's our best friend but he Especially can't you, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're really close and and I respect his privacy, you know, like he can't elaborate on anything to do with Selena Gomez because like he's signed NDAs and so it's like that would honestly make our friendship so weird if I knew about that. It like would, if I it, knew it, why. If you asked him kind of some of the things you wanted to ask him, it would make your relationship weird and um uh being in this band a lot more illuminating at the same time, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm sure it would. I'm Something sure I would. think about for sure. Man, I wish Cody was here because I could like I I would love to hear his take on this because I think it'd be really would it be crazy if we called him oh I think we should just try okay. we should just try right we can like, try just try and we like, should just try we could give the mic like just in case he has something to just say. in would... case he has something to say because like I think he would love to weigh in on this and he's probably on his way anyway okay he's probably on his way anyway so I think, I think if he has something to say it would just be so good to hear him out you know yeah I, mean? I think it'd be great if we could just like Cause I think he'll, I think he'll laugh so hard. He's probably like asleep or something. You could turn the mic around. You could put the end of the phone on the mic. Oh, like this end. Yeah, there okay, you go. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> okay, wait, yeah. wait. If he picks wait, up, he's I really want to hear him. I really want to hear him. If yeah, he picks we up. really want to hear him if he picks up. Cody, 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 are you there? Sorry, Sorry I'm in Egypt on tour. What's up, guys? Cody, Josh, hey, it's us from the band for you. <laughs> Hey, Cody, it's us. We're all your band members. And hey, you probably forgot about this. We were supposed to do like press for the album today. <laughs> oh, shoot, shoot, yeah. Hey, yeah, no, yeah, uh, Dua Lipa, come here. Yeah, no. Whoa, that's Dua Lipa? That's not Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa. 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 Wait, before you go, before you go, ask him, ask him what the album name is, because I feel like we should know it before the interview. Oh, yeah, we should ask, we should, wait, okay, um, so Cody, um, Cody. Cody Mike, what's the album name? What's the album name? Yeah, because we keep we're releasing. We yeah, because, well, no, it's so our album. it's our album. But we we keep forgetting, and you wrote it, and we we keep, we keep forgetting, forgetting the actual the title. title. <laughs> uh, so the album that uh, we wrote, but really I wrote, uh, was called Five for Thieves. Um, what? I thought it was about. Heartbreak. I thought it was heartbreak. <laughs> well, we were so Five for off, thieves. Okay, dude. thanks, Cody. We miss you. Okay, dude. we miss you, dude. Hope you could come Cody, by. Cody, come on by my house for the mac and cheese. Come on. It's so. It, Cody, we're your band. We and we grew up together. It's Benny, your best it's friend. It's Benny, your best friend. Dance harder, Dua. Yeah, no, you need to dance a little harder. Oh my God! Whoa. I can't oh, believe dude. he's talking to Dua Lipa that way. Okay, uh, my insurance company is actually calling me, so I'll call you later. Bye. Oh shit! Insurance company is the name of his hot Swedish girlfriend. <laughs> I went to high school with her. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. He's, that's awesome. I mean, that was that was that kind of wrecked me a little. Have you ever seen a moment <laughs> yeah. in your life where you thought you'd have to tell Dua Lipa to dance harder? Man, that's so irregular for her. Yeah, cause she, yeah, she dances really hard, and he's, so he's probably so in love with her. She dances soft for him. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. um, that was, yeah, so yeah, let's just keep going. Let's um, just keep going. Wait, yeah. so wait, to, wait hold on a out. minute. We don't want to talk about how he acted like he didn't even know us and didn't oh, want so to talk to us. I'm not, I don't think we should. I don't think that's good for us. I don't but think that is what us. happened. What are we talking about? I don't think that's good for us. I mean, he like, no, I mean, he's busy. And, and we really respect busy. that. Seems pretty him. clear to me. He's on vacation with Dua Lipa by the pyramids or something. No. I think he probably could have scheduled. Oh, no, I think that's the Wes Anderson movie because Dua's probably in it. 
Oh, yeah. She's yeah, probably in that. it, right? She's... But you guys remember, like, wasn't there that time, Gustav, when we all had rehearsal and you overslept, right? And when Do you, you remember showed that? up, and when oh. you showed up, we all laughed about it. That's exactly what's happening here. It's probably like that, yes. Yeah. I had jet he's lag. He's joking about Egypt. There's no way. No, yeah. I don't think he's joking. I, do you ever wonder maybe he's trying to get out of For You Band? No. No. So no. anyway, Five no. for Thieves. Okay. No the second track no on Five for Thieves. Yeah, so the That's album's called the Five for Thieves. <laughs> Five for Thieves. The second track on Five for Thieves um, is really special to all of us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was one that was kind of, we kind of all worked on a little bit. We uh, all worked on it, yes. It's, and Gustav um, is like, Kind of carrying lead vocals, I'll say it. I yeah. am carrying lead vocals because I said I would. I called dibs on it, which we all get to call dibs on one thing in every album. And this yeah. was it. I found out very quickly this was written specifically for Cody. So my voice was not naturally perfect for this song. But I think we figured it out. It's called Stingers. Here we go. Go, you got your stingers out. Go, you gonna sting my heart tonight. Buzz, buzz. A bee is not a friend. Buzz, buzz. And I am not in love. Buzz, buzz. I miss when you dance on my flower. Now I cry hour after hour. Buzz, you got buzz. your stingers out. And I buzz, am buzz. allergic. <laughs> oh, you might learn, Jake. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm allergic. I, I love it. I am allergic. Yeah, yeah. That would be really good if that was the with the rest of the song. We don't do that in the song. No, oh, no. I honestly, I'll be honest. I haven't heard this track since we recorded it. Uh, <laughs> okay. And um, this was uh, this was really illuminating. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, this was quite illuminating. You're I'm, right. We job. should be giving me more stuff. I think. Yeah, yeah. Great job. I think. Um, yeah, I'm not I I'm not worried about anything that's going on. Um, I don't know about you guys. I feel really great for this album to come out. I think it's super cool and I think it's super great that uh you know all of us are represented in this way. And um yeah, we had some well maybe we could talk about uh you know, we had some some people who were going to do some features, you yeah. know. And it's okay, right? It's we okay. almost got Beyonce. Almost got Beyonce. There almost got Beyonce. I think there were two. Yeah. And and I sent her a DM and she read it. Yeah. Which was to be really honest, huge. that's a fucking <laughs> huge. That's, 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 huge. that's, that's actually crazy really shit. hard to do. That's actually, that's actually I very hard to do. I literally jumped like gymnast. I was like, yeah. Yeah. You jumped like Jimmy? You jumped like I jumped Jimmy like Fallon? Gymnast. Jumps oh, like gymnast. gymnast. Like a gymnast. Yes. Like a gymnast. Yeah, um, it's like our American gymnast. Yeah. yeah um, so that's the second track. That's the Such second track. Such a good track. So yeah. good. Imagine Beyonce on it. Yeah. And imagine I mean, Beyonce yeah. on it. Like the possibilities of, yeah. Crazy. No, we even awesome. baited her because of like, you know, she has the beehive sort mm -hmm. of thing. And so yeah. we, we, we sort of really teed her up, but she didn't... Um, but she, we were so close. We fame, were so close. Fame, you have a beautiful song that reminds me of like a sad little boy song. Thank you so much. And I think it's, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, all of us are on the track. Like we're, it, but it definitely, um, I helped Cody write this one because I did it, um, I did it about being left-handed. And I feel like the label was asking us to like go deeper into things about us because we do, I mean, let's address it. We have a huge fandom. We have, yeah. and everything you guys, oh, everything yeah. about oh, yes. me, you guys know already. And it's crazy. And I don't even know how you got to a lot of it, right? Um, but there is one thing that we, that no one has found, right? It's not on my wiki. It's not on anything um, that I am now coming out and talking about is that I'm left-handed. And um, so we use this time to sing. I told the boys, we sat down around the piano. Benny started playing some chords. And this is kind of what came out. Yeah, that was really brave of you. So, Thanks. all right, let's let's play it. Da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 da na na na. Don't you always think of putting a blinker on in your car? It's always to the right. 
You always think that one thing doesn't mean wrong, but it means right. But no one talks about the left hand. No one talks about the left hand. No one talks about the left hand. Nobody talks about the left hand. The left hand. The left hand. So I am left. Yeah, it's such a good track. And yeah. it is amazing, man. I'm really proud of you, man. I think that's great. And think <laughs> and dude I'm so like proud of you, man. That's so awesome. And I really love this great system we have where when one of us has to confess something to the other, I play piano and we it's say beautiful. get it's the confession really nice. music up and then It's how Cody told us he's leaving. Yeah. Oh. For that movie. Well, he was for the right, movie. Yeah. For the for movie. Leaving for a bit. Yeah. yeah. For, for the for a movie bit. for a little bit. It felt like he was like saying, what, it was saying like he was like starting to leave Fora and you started playing super loud. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You well, like turned it up. Uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone turn up a grand piano, but like mm. you turn it up was super yeah. loud. Yeah. I have a, and I have an amp. And we could hear what he was saying, but it was uh -huh. like clear he's leaving per, like not permanently. Yeah. What I love about that song is I was actually playing that song um, uh, on the ranch the other day. I was playing, I was rolling. Riding my you horse. Stop, got a ranch I got a ranch got outside a ranch. of Dallas. He's an all Fort American Ward. dude. I was listening to it, listening a big Mustang, and I was listening to that song, and I thought, man, it's good to be American. Yeah, you were lassoing a Mustang like a horse? I was lassoing a Mustang. How'd you learn to what? do that? Oh, I, I have a guy who taught me how to do it. So you have a, uh, do you have like a, ah, uh, man, I mean, sorry, I feel like I shouldn't spill your secrets, but I heard you have like a country coach. Um, this is not the truth. I have an uncle who is from the South who spends all his time with me to tell me about how to also be from the South. Right. That's and he's on your is. payroll. Well, he, I pay him because he needs money and he does yeah. services for me. Right. But I mean, like he's been posting a lot of Instagram reels of him teaching you stuff. Yeah, well, that's what the uncle does in American culture. The <laughs> they, uncle they always. They the reels. That's yeah. what the, the uncle, uncle does. The uncle always be posting the reels of. Can an, we play one? Yeah, we can also, of course, play the American Reel. <laughs> Howdy, thou. This is me, Tom Country, here to teach my son Gustav. No, I'm your nephew. Oh, my God. I always don't forget. Wait, can you keep scrolling? Go to the other one. There's one <laughs> There's one under it. But ah, the intro always starts the same. The intro always starts the same. But, Hi, but I know that's the wrong one. Tom. Hi, it's me, Tom. Hi, one more. it's me, Tom. Hi, it's me, Tom, with the country code. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Tom. Here with my nephew, Gustav. Here we're trying to teach you how to do a tractor. Gustav, are you ready? I'm ready. I got a lot of hay out in the field and I gotta bail it up. One more down. One more down. Hi, it's Gustav. <laughs> Hi, it's Tom from America. No, stop on this one, this one, this that one. one. That one, that one. Hi, it's Tom from the country, here to teach you how to do a tractor. Hey, hey, uncle. Hey, son. Son. Yeah, Son? no, no, I'm your nephew, and it's time for me to use the tractor because I need to get a lot of hay. Okay, now hop on in, and here we go. Uh-oh, looks like this guy's not from the country. So it's crazy when I watch those reels, I in the back, I feel like I'm listening to the left the left song that I wrote. So like, it's crazy that you could listen to that on your ranch. Well, that's the feeling that is happening in the song. <laughs> that's the feeling that's happening in this song, which is why it's great to listen to, you Thank know? Thank you so much. And that's track yeah. number three. Uh, yeah. And I think, I think I just want to commend your uncle because it seems like he found an online hook that really works for engagement. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, track number four. Anyway, track number four. <laughs> Let's get to track number four. Uh, now this one is um, something that I really tried to delve into my past a little bit about, you know, the fame of being a child actor. And so I, um, I wrote this song uh, called Spotlight, Nightlight, Get That Away. And it's about sort of like one young man's struggle to like get Hollywood out of his system, right? Like mm -hmm. there's so many corrupting forces who want to take away my childhood. And so um, I got really, uh, this is the only song that I think I have a lead vocal in. Um, 
And I got some really back happy that Cody it sounds too that. angry. No, yeah. I was happy Cody finally like was a cool was cool with that because I feel like it was no, time. Yeah, yeah. And like it, you know, we've been talking about this for a while and I feel like on this album actually Cody was pretty lenient with a lot about a lot of the stuff we did. Did you guys notice that? I almost noticed that he almost was always on his phone and they didn't really care what we were doing in the studio, which and that was shows different. trust to me. It shows yeah. trust. And also like when you guys had a big conversation, you guys said we need to have a quiet conversation behind the door and he went into the other side of the studio studio and then you guys had a really big loud conversation like a big fight yeah and i remember i was like are they singing mm -hmm. um, right yeah so we were just um you know if you know somebody as long as i have like we have a lot to talk about and sometimes totally. things get heated sometimes the word betrayal is thrown around but like that's just like boys being boys you know like that's locker room talk that's mm. like sort of like we're just razzing each other like oh you deserted me you'd be nothing without me um yeah, totally. all that kind of stuff is just like stuff you got to get off your chest mm. like if you're if you're a little boy and you met as a little boy like these things happen you know and so um we just had to get that out of our system so that we're cool again yeah mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah well yeah. let's go ahead and play the song what is it called again um spotlight nightlight get that away Let's play this song. Bright light shining in my face. The night never goes away. I don't have the words to say. I gotta get that. Get that out of my face. Spot light. Night light. Get that away from me. Famous night time. Get that away from me. You stole time. Get on down. Get on down. Get on down the road here to country town. Usually we stop the clip here. Usually yeah, we, we usually clip. stop right before then. Oh, which is a huge bummer because I'm trying to open a big bar uh, <laughs> franchise called Get On Down to Country Town. And so I've been throwing it around. Stop, I keep saying it's too long a name. Too Get long On Down to Country Town. You it's know, that's a, a good name for a... Um, for like a, a slogan, but I don't think it could be the actual name. Like you, like what we were saying is like, you actually have to have a name that's like short and then that could be the tagline, right? Sure, but also like your businesses both failed big time. And so like, oh, I don't want to take advice from either of you. Literally, Lens Crafters fucked me with that deal. Yeah, and Warby Parker absolutely <laughs> destroyed me. Anyway, I'm not doing glasses, I'm doing a bar. So. And I think, you know, part of the problem was that we competed with our deals, right? And, yeah. And so you were pushing Lens Crafters like and I was pushing Warby Parker. <laughs> and, like, our fans didn't know what to do. So they actually chose the third option, which was neither. Yeah. And the fact that our people, like, didn't see those competing clauses come through with yeah. the brand deals were, were really shitty. I'm, and like, the, starting and, to get why boy bands have the same manager. I'm, like, starting yeah, to I'm get starting that. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. Yeah, I'm starting to get too it. many people on the email. So many CCs. It's crazy that we're on a call because it's like is everybody here is, is everybody, everybody here? here and there's so many of us i think my phone gets so hot when we do those calls because there's 32 yeah. people on the call it, every time i get on a call it, i didn't realize my phone had a fan until yeah. i was on those until calls. i hear it going <laughs> and we're like whoa i mean simon's people alone there's like 10 of them exactly yeah. and cody yeah. has like the most cody has like 50 mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah. yeah, and then I have my lens crasser of bros, and you have your Warby Parker. I buy girls. my Warby Parker girls. Those girls are ruthless, and they, <laughs> you know, they get what they want. I will say that about the girls. And then, yeah. but sometimes what's annoying about those calls is that the Warby Parker girls and the lens crafter guys like are kind of hitting on each other, and it kind of seems like we can't get anything done. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. And also, like, I did want to come in how the defense weren't buying glasses because of the Warby Parker lens crafters, and then there were all those car accidents outside of our concerts because <laughs> none of them were able to see you in the driving and we <laughs> again like legally take no responsibility no, for that. i defute no. that connection i find that like you um, defute it i do <laughs> i defute that i defute that as well like i don't think i i'm sorry i don't think it's our I a boy that. band's responsibility to get you glasses or not i think that's actually on you as a yeah. fan to I find that connection preposterous get I, off our legs dude defute that legs? deflate that defute <laughs> defute <laughs> that defute, defute that defute that allegation yeah exactly 
Um, anyway, uh, we can't show you the whole album, but we could show you the last track yeah. on the album. Um, last track on the album is really special. Um, Cody is a majority singing it. Yeah, this is this is like Cody's sort of like breakthrough. All all the vocals are co- Cody, but we come in with the background with like such supporting. Yeah. Like in a way, um, like I would say we're the unsung heroes of that song. Like he no. wouldn't be able to do what, what he does without us. And he wrote it and he showed it to us and we were like, well, this has to be the end of the album. And yeah. I mean, it's, I'm still understanding what it is because it's called I Want to Say Goodbye, But They Won't Listen. Exactly. Uh, yeah. and it's so interesting. He's such a poet because he writes things that are so confusing. Like, yeah. you know that there's a meaning confusing. in this song, but you don't know what it is and you can feel the meaning. Yeah. And at some point, like, we like we don't know his deals with like Selena and Gomez. Like, we don't like sure we tour yeah. and we're all over the world together. But guys, like, like when you were dating Bella Hadid, I didn't know yeah. much. Like I like we mm. we stay on the outside. Like yeah. we don't really know each other's like dating life. So this song could be about that. It could be about I that. I try to leave, but they don't listen. So. And me and Bella are good, by the way. Me and Bella are good. And cool. like uh yeah, we're we're good. And I know people saw those pictures where I was like sort of crying outside of the Chateau Marmont. Uh-huh. Um, but like I just want to say that that was about something else. That was right. about something else completely. Uh-huh. Defute that, dude. And so I just want to defute that really quick that Bella had anything to do with it because Bella and I are absolutely cool and our three dates were incredible. And like, I wish her nothing but the best. And we actually didn't work out because I actually had a lot going on. I was actually quite busy. And yeah. to be honest, yeah. she's not my type. And I want to hear the song. Also- <laughs> You you don't have to you don't have to go after Bella. Dude. No, 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 and I would never go after Bella. But like, I would not. I mean, I wish whoever does. The uh, the best. I wish. I wish her future <laughs> husband or wife the best. That's all I have to say. But we and Bella are cool. I would like to also come out and talk publicly about the rumors that I was dating Phaedra from The Real Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nasty rumors. <laughs> we were dating, but we are still good friends. It ended amicably when we realized we had nothing in common. <laughs> and it was, she is yeah, so fun. I saw on Dumois that somebody <laughs> posted two hours of you guys having a silent date and sort of clinking your forks at Sir. And she, I just love her eyes and the way she looks really mysterious all the time where she's always like... Did you like try to buy a ranch in Atlanta? She, I tried to buy a ranch in Atlanta, and it just couldn't figure it out. It, it, I was trying to buy one in the middle of the city, and it did not have them. So I could not do that. <laughs> and that's one of the big reasons me and Faye didn't, um, didn't keep going. Yeah, but, we're talking yeah. dating rumors. Yeah, I'll say it. Um, Steve Jobs' uh, daughter and I are still together. Uh, yeah. Samantha. Um, wow. We've been together. And that's awesome. Yeah, we've been we lost our virginity to each other. I wrote that in the song and yeah. a couple yeah. albums ago. Um yeah. Yeah, I love I love that song. Um <laughs> iPhone iPhone sex. <laughs> It was kind of like the song Birthday Sex, but yeah, it was, it was not, pretty like, good. Can we actually play that? That sort of put us on the map. Yeah, yeah. I think you're lead vocalist, and you are too. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 totally. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Get my phone on the screen. I'm losing my virginity to Steve Jobs' daughter. Bing, boom, bing, boom, boom. FaceTime with mine, penis, and your vagina. See? Jobs daughter, iPhone update, iPhone update, iPhone update, iPhone update. This software will install overnight if plugged in between three and five a.m. Ask app not to track. 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 Boom boom boom. Ask app not to track. That song is a banger, and I can't listen to it for another second. Pretty good. Yeah, it was our club days. It's so good that I can't listen to it. Oh. God, that's I so get fire. That stuck in my head every time I see the little thing. Ask app not, not to track. track. Ask, Ask app not, not to track. track. Ask app. We gotta call him because I think he's. I think he would find this really funny that we were listening to it. Time. I think we call him one more time. Call Let's just see. Let's sing the old song. Cole, Let's just see. Let's sing the old maybe he can sing the last song. Well, on the maybe track. he can sing the last song on the track. Hey, hey dude. Hey dude. Um. So uh, it seems like we have to wrap up. It seems like you're not. It seems like you're not coming. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Okay. Oh, we were thinking the first time when we talked to you, maybe you'd be able to make it since then, but you're yeah, not. Yeah, but it seems like actually driving, you still can't come. Um,
Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we were wondering if you wanted to sing the last track with, I don't know if your voice is like all, um, if your voice is, is bad, that's okay. Like if you, if you're, if you're, if you're sore, yeah, whatever. we've been singing all the tracks. Um, and this is the last track on the album that we, that we, we explained to the, the camera that it's, it's called, um, I want to leave, but they won't listen. Um, yeah and so and we don't know why yeah yeah yeah. so and it's a big mystery like i know that's we don't know what it's about song hi cody you. it's gustav by the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i didn't hear really any of that to Alipa. it's just been biting my ear like crazy okay, okay dude, okay, dude. Well, you know what? we gave you a okay. chance dude All i'm sorry right. dude we gave you a chance dude and dude if you don't want to be a part of the interview then fine just say it yeah fine i'll say it i'll happily say it okay ready yeah. I wanna leave, but they won't let me. I wanna leave, but they're keeping me in. I'm stuck in a cage. Please help me free me. Please, please free me. I'm the only baby member. I am talented. Talented. Every hit the floor. Hang on. Every hit the floor. Oh, hang on. Hit the floor. What the fuck? Uh, That's not at all the song that he wrote for us on the album. That? He's so fucking good. He's stop, so stop, fucking Benny, good. Stop, Benny, stop. Benny, stop. He's so fucking good at singing, and I'm so stupid. Benny, stop. You look like you did outside the Chateau Marmont when Bella Hadid broke uh, up with your ass. Stop it. Uh, uh, that's about something else. That was my about buddy, something my else. buddy. Cowboys don't cry. <laughs> Cowboys don't cry. Don't do this. Cowboys stop don't it. cry. Stop it. Stop it. Cowboys don't cry, dude. Come on, come on. Sing it. Don't throw up a song! Don't throw up a song! <laughs> Cowboys ain't easy to love, but they're harder to raise. What? Cowboys ain't easy. <laughs> don't let mamas, don't, don't let your babies babies grow up baby. to be cowboys. So that's actually more uh oil and Jennings, dude. <laughs> that's not us, dude. <laughs> that's not us. I just thought of that. <laughs> dude. <laughs> this has been fucking heart wrenching. We're going out on tour. Make sure to check us out. We're playing the Nissan Pavilion in every single city. <laughs> if you got a Nissan Pavilion, we're going to be we're there. Gonna, if you got a Nissan dealership, we're going to be there. If you have a Nissan, text us in the comments and we will come to you. We will play your trunk. Come on, we're going to be at the Nissan dealership like Ask App, not the track. Ask, ask app, app, not the track. Ask App, not, not the track. track. Ask App, not, not, not the track. track. This has been Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists answering the question. Now that's why they call it show business. Good night, Hollywood. <laughs> Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed in this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe, and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.